Hello again traders. Uh, today's video is another tutorial for the CTrader platform. We're going to cover chart modes. So this is how to display your charts on the screen and how to arrange them around uh, to suit your trading style. So as you can see on CTrader at the moment, I'm using a smaller size monitor, it's all squashed up, and I've got a single chart on the screen. What I'm going to do quickly, first of all, is show you how you can find out more about um, uh, the CTrader's online user guide and more about chart modes. So I'm just going to drag it onto this screen. This is uh, the CTrader user guide online. So you, do, you go to help.ctrader.com, under CTrader desktop, you come down to chart modes. And here in chart modes, you can find out everything you need to know, but I'm going to actually give you a hands-on demonstration. So um, if you really want to have the full information, I would read this first, then watch the hands-on demonstration because you'll have more of an idea what's going on, okay? So it's easy to find. I'm just going to take this back off the screen. Um, so what I'm going to do now is just quickly go through CTrader and explain it to you. Now CTrader has some varying, uh, sorry, varying, there's different ways to actually open up a chart. Um, one is the simplest one. If you're in the single chart mode, you can just click on the plus there. So if I click on the plus, oh, I'm going to do this. If I click on the plus, you can then select your symbol and then it adds it to the chart. So I've got two charts now side by side and tabbed view. So you can have multiple tabs open for different charts. And when you want to look at different um, symbols or instruments, you just click on the chart that you want to view. OK, the other one is you can click on um, this icon here. So this opens up a new chart. OK, and it will open up in single chart mode, just attaching it. The other on the right hand side, we've got one here as well, an icon here that will allow you to open up a new chart from here. OK, these are the different ways you can open up charts. I, I'm sure that there's other ways. So each one of these uh, markets down here, all these instruments, you just click on the actual link there for the actual symbol that you want to open. OK, and it will open it. OK, so that's single chart mode. While I'm in single chart mode, I'll just show you that you can just drag and reorder them around. I'm not going to go into linking at the moment. We're going to cover that in a different video. I'm just going to show you the different types of chart modes that you can look at at the moment. OK, so this is where you can actually link the charts by choosing these little color boxes. That'll be in a separate video. OK, so what I'm going to show you, first of all, is the different type of chart modes. And then I'm going to show you um, how to detach and reattach the charts. Also, I missed one out. There's one there. You can add a new chart from here as well and select the symbol. OK, there you go. So what I'm going to do now is just go to this one, single chart mode. Sorry, that's what I've got. I'm going to go to the multiple chart mode. Now, multiple chart mode will automatically arrange them on the chart um, and resize them to fit. I'm going to press F11 and get rid of the active symbol panel and of my information at the bottom. So I've got it for view. And I'm also going to get rid of the one on the left by clicking here. You can see my little icon flashing. This little button there, that will remove the panel and hide it on the left hand side. OK, this is my chart views now and you can see it's looking a lot nicer. Um, now to add a chart again, you just do the same thing. You click on the little icon there, choose your symbol and it will automatically reorder it. Now from multi chart mode, you can move them around the screen. Now, if this ever happens to you because it hasn't actually put them in place, it's detach the chart. You just need to right click on the screen and choose reattach chart. Now, ideally, I want to move these around the chart. I see that one did, that one went in. I think if you try and do it, it hasn't moved it across yet. If you don't do it properly and you just have it over the top, it might detach. It's not doing it now. Typical, isn't it? So there you go. It's all reordering correctly now. So that's how to reorder them on the screen. Um, and you can also change the symbol just by clicking on the symbol there, scrolling down and choosing a different symbol to view. Now, what you can do also is uh, detach. Sorry, I'm not going to show you detached charts yet. I'm just going to show you the last view I'm going to show you, which is free chart mode. So this is the multi chart mode. Now, free chart mode is the same as multi chart mode. And the only difference is you can resize the charts. So I can actually drag, uh, resize this one down. Resize this one left. OK, try and resize this one. So this will allow you to have all the charts on the screen, but instead of having them all the same width and height, you can um, decide how you want to view each chart. So you can make some smaller, some larger, and you can arrange them how you want. That's free chart mode. OK, um, again, if you this is a small monitor, but if you've got a big uh, monitor or multi monitors, you would just drag these around. OK, so I'm going to go back down to multi chart mode. And I'm going to show you about detaching charts. So if you want to detach a chart, um, there's a few ways of doing it. I think actually might only be one. But the idea behind detaching a chart is that you can open up the chart and have no other view other than that chart. I'll just quickly show you. I click on this little icon up here. 
and that's detached the chart for this symbol. OK, now all the others are, are carried on in multi mode. This one's detached from the actual platform. You can drag it away from your platform. Can't quite see it here. And you can have it on your chart as a standalone window. Now this again, I'll expand it. Now this would be useful if you're if you've got a big monitor and you want a really huge view of the trading and what's going on. You can detach the chart and you can actually see what's going on. It gives you a lot more room. And to reattach, just right click the chart again and go to reattach and it just puts them back there. OK, that's it. That's all I wanted to show you now as to how to attach and reattach and different type of chart modes. Again, if you go to the CTrader um, website, uh, you can find out more. The help file that I just showed you, I'll just drag it across one more time. Just go to help.ctrader.com and this will give you more information. And also, if you want to come to our website, click algo.com, just come and visit us under C Trader. We've got video tutorials. And in the video tutorials, we're covering all the videos for the C Trader platform. Um, and you can actually go to our YouTube playlist. If you're not already on our YouTube play playlist, here it is. Oops, where did it go? I'll bring it back. This is our YouTube playlist for uh, C Trader. We're putting more and more videos in here, so you'll have a, mo a lot more. OK, that's it. That's all I wanted to show you. Um, again, if you subscribe to our channel, you get updated as soon as a video comes out. If you give us a thumbs up, it really helps our rankings and it allows more free videos to be published uh, that benefits you as the trader. OK, thank you very much for your time. Cheers.